I wonder. I wonder. What do you wonder, Wonder Cat? I wonder where does sand come from? Where does sand come from? Well, if you're curious enough, you can find out. Have you ever looked really closely at sand? You mean with my magnifying glass? That's right. What does sand look like now? Like, like little stones or rocks. Yes, it does. Grains of sand are really tiny pieces of rock. Well, that's what the sand grains are on this beach. In fact, most grains of sand are. This sand is brown because it came from rocks that were that color. In some places, sand is more black because it came from rock that was black. And sand will be more white if it comes from white rocks or tiny bits of seashells. But whatever its color and whatever it's made of, all grains of sand are about the same size. I can see that with my magnifying glass. But it's kind of funny. What is? Well, I can see that the grains of sand are solid, like rocks are. But you get a lot of them together, and they sort of act like water. See? You can pour them. But the grains don't always stay together. You fill up a pail, you empty it out, and the sand all spreads apart. But I see what you can do about that. If you wet this sand, the grains stick together. You can build things with wet sand. That's a pretty nice castle. It looks like it has walls made of rock. But I can see they're just a lot of grains of sand stuck together. We can speed up what happens when the sun dries the sand. The grains of sand just fall apart. Wow! Hey, look! Somebody made me out of sand. That's a very nice sand sculpture. It looks a lot like you. Well, I don't have to worry about that sand drying up and falling apart. The waves are going to wash me away before that ever happens. Well, I'm disappointed. About the sand sculpture of you being washed away? No. You see, I was curious about sand, like you said I ought to be. I found out a lot of things about sand, but I didn't find out where sand comes from. I found out where it goes to, some of it gets washed off the beach by the waves. But look there. That's the hole someone dug to get the sand to make that sculpture of you. Watch what happens as the waves roll over it. Hey, the waves are moving sand into it, not out of it. And there are the footprints of the person who made the sand sculpture. The water is filling them with sand, too. So maybe the waves just move the sand around. Yes, that's what the waves do on this beach. They move the sand around every time they roll over it. Waves even move the sand that's under the water every time they come in. Those little ripples in the sand are made by the waves. Every time the waves come onto the beach, they move the ripples of sand a little. Slowly, the little ripples of sand are moved out of the water and onto the beach here. A beach takes a long time to make. It takes a lot of waves and a lot of sand. Well, I guess the answer to my question is that all the sand, at least on this beach, comes out of the water. The waves wash it up on the beach. But I wonder. What do you wonder, Wonder Cat? I wonder. How does the sand that the waves wash up on the beach get into the water in the first place? Remember what the sand looked like when you looked at it through your magnifying glass? I think I remember, but I'll look at it again anyway, just to be sure. Yes, I did remember. Sand grains look like little pieces of rock. And where do you suppose little pieces of rock come from? Little pieces of rock must come from bigger pieces of rock. Maybe big rocks. Yes, good thinking. But how do little pieces of rock break off of bigger rocks and get into the water? 
Well, if you're... I know. Curious enough, I can find out. Well, there are some big rocks. Let's go look at them. They're hard. I don't think I could break pieces off of them very easily. But hey, there are a lot of rocks down there. They're not as small as grains of sand are, but they're a lot smaller than the rock they came from. I wonder how they got there. Maybe some of the pieces came off the rock here, where it's cracked. And look, there's a plant growing in another crack in the rock. It looks like little pieces of the rock have broken off there, too. Did they come off of that rock? Good observation. Yes, there are many reasons why rocks break apart. One reason is those plants growing in the cracks. As the plants grow and get bigger, they make the cracks bigger, and that can break pieces off of the rock, too. Quick, turn away from the beach. OK, why? Sand is blowing over this way from the beach. You don't want it to get in your eyes. Hey, it's blowing against these rocks. Hmm, these rocks are smooth. These rocks are smooth, too. If sand blows on them a lot out here... It does. ...then maybe the blowing sand wears off little bits of the rock the way sandpaper wears off little bits of wood. I guess sandpaper is just paper with sand stuck on it. Grains of sand. When you rub sandpaper on wood, the wood gets smooth. It gets smooth because rubbing with the sandpaper rubs off little bits of the wood. Yes, and sand blowing against the rocks wears off little bits of the rocks. The sand helps to make more sand. Waves have sand in them, too. When water with sand in it washes over these rocks, that wears off little bits from them, too. For these rocks to get smooth, their rough parts have to wear away. Sand in the air and in the water doesn't. And sand keeps wearing away the rocks year after year. The pieces of rock that break off the big rocks here get washed into the ocean. And then when they're in the water, they keep being moved around all the time because the water keeps moving. Water makes the pieces of rocks bump into each other. This makes tiny pieces break off. And so these rocks get worn away too. These tiny pieces of rock in the water keep breaking into smaller and smaller pieces until they have become grains of sand. Rocks near the ocean and far away from it wear away, slowly turn into sand, and then a lot of that sand goes into the oceans. Then some of it comes up on beaches where the waves wash it up into the shore. Wind and water keep moving the sand. Beaches are always changing. Wind can pile sand into hills, called sand dunes. Or big waves and storms can wash away beaches instead of building them up. But for now, sand makes this beach a very nice one. I feel kind of sorry for those grains of sand. Once they were big rocks. And now look at them. You need a magnifying glass to see them. Well, don't feel too sorry for grains of sand, because they can turn back into rocks again. They can? Yes, this is a kind of rock called sandstone. Oh, I can see. It's made of tiny grains of sand all stuck together. Sandstone isn't as hard as some other kinds of rock. It's easy to break off the tiny grains of sand and to change the rock into any shape you want. Hey, that's me. A sandstone statue of me. And there goes some of the sand that came off the sandstone. Well, now I know where sand on this beach comes from. Most of it comes from rocks that get worn away. And a little teeny tiny part of it comes from a sandstone statue of me right here on this sandy beach that came out of the ocean. <laughs>